Hello everybody, my name's Sean and welcome to our channel. I hope you are doing well today. Um, I wanted to show the replacement of my lower suspension arm. Is it that one or is it that one or are they the same? I think they're the same. Um, I know that there's some people that look at this and they go, oh, too difficult and they don't want anything to do with it. So I thought it's worthwhile just doing a quick video showing you how to replace this lower section. It looks a lot more complicated than what it is, but it's not, I promise you. First thing you need to do is take off the wheel. Put that there, take the pin. I'm gonna just tighten this one up because I noticed it was loose. There we go. Uh, actually, let's take that off as well for now. Okay, suspension, the upper part can stay on, lower part needs to come off. Oh no, sorry, wrong side. Turn it upside down and everything gets inverted, doesn't it? That, that just unscrews and then you just pull it out. Nothing difficult there. Uh, one screw here. I'm not sure if you have to take this part off. I don't think you do, but I'm here, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Jump forward in the video, just to make sure that you don't have to take this off or you do have to take this off. Here we, I don't think you do. I think that just unscrews. Let's have a quick look. pin that goes in, isn't it? Anyway, uh, this little uh, bumper at the front needs to come off because you need to get access to the screws behind that. Two screws there. In the amp. There you go. Which gives you access to the two screws here that you need to take that part off. So, what I try and do to, to make sure that both sides don't come falling apart is I only do this sort of halfway out and do this one all the way out. Ooh. Come on. Really? The pin's caught at the back. There you go. So, take that pin out for now. Get rid of the drive shaft. In fact, I'm going to take that off as well. Let's put that to one side. How have I never had to take one of these out before? How weird is that? Right, pin. Here's one I prepared earlier, and that was actually for the super glue. Do you just push it? It's, it's one of these times where people think that I'm an expert, where in fact I'm not. I'm learning as I go along, like what a lot of you are. That doesn't come out, does it? I've only been messing around with these for the past four months, so it can't go that way, so it has to go that way, doesn't it? There you go. You see how I'm forcing that out? I need a long and thin. There you go. wasn't hard at all, was it? There you go. Right, now before I pull that pin out uh, all the way, because I want to make sure it goes back in the way it came out, I need to make sure that this is the correct part, which it is not. That will be for that side. This will be for this side. The reason I know that is, if you see, um, yeah, we do them exactly the same. So let's, let's get rid of the original. The one on the what would be the left hand side 
yes, the left hand side, that's the one we've taken off, so I do it that way. Sorry to co complicate things. Um, if you see, the nibbly dobby bit is at the back, and on this side, it's at the front. Okay, so it's very important that you get them in the correct way. Back, back, right. So, pin out, yank that out, put that in. In, yes, right. Obviously, the little screw there is to stop the pin coming back out again. I love the fact that I've been working on this car now for, as I said, four months, and I've taken virtually everything apart. But the last three videos, there's something that I've not done before. I mean, like, how is that possible? Oh my! Oh no, that's way too big. Let's get a smaller screwdriver bit. Nice. that done get rid of those bits get rid of the old one right I'm gonna put this pin back in and we'll get the car over here uh, through. Actually, I'm going to put the screws back in straight away. Oh, I can't do that. Obviously, make sure that the drive shaft goes all the way through. This pin uh, goes all the way into there, and obviously the front part of it goes into there. So you also have to make sure that you get the drive shaft in, but just put that first pin in first. Put the drive shaft in. Come on. Pull that forward and feed it in. on the outer one so we need to make sure that this goes back on the outer one Obviously this is new new plastic, so all of these holes have not been used before, so this is a lot tighter to get it in. I turned it upside down just to make sure that it was straight in and it wasn't sort of pushing where it shouldn't do. Drive shafts come back out again, so get that back in position. And then come here. 
the upper suspension arm clipped back onto the ball joint. There we go. Right. Upside down. We need to put this one back in. Let me just double check that they're tight. Which they are. Not in. Little pin. Come on. Pin through the hole. Or just drop it down and lose it. Through the hole, that back on, that back on, and I really do have to put that back on. There you go, all replaced incredibly quickly. And I learned something. I didn't know how that pin came in and out, so now I do know that as well. And now you know that as well. Okay, so don't be scared of it. It's nothing to be sort of freaked out about. I know that there's a lot of people out there that, that think, oh, I can't take it apart. I'm worried about it, but just do it systematically. If you're unsure where a screw goes, do what I did at the start. I took a photo of it. It's, it's that simple. And if you do take a photo, what you do is you take the screw all the way out and you hold it near the hole so that you know which screw goes to which hole. And there you go. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe as well. Please, please, you're more than welcome. Um, and hit the notific notification bell. Can't even say the word notification today. Hit that notification bell for future video alerts. Have a great day today, everybody. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.